Hi there, and welcome to this rather quick tutorial on setting up a camera that moves as soon as you touch the edges of the screen. In this tutorial, I will show you very simple logic on how to set up planes that will control the motion of the camera once you touch them. For this tutorial, you will only need the game engine that comes with the latest version of Blender. Alright, so I've already created a little test scene to see whether uh, the camera motion will actually work later on. So the first thing we want to do is set up a new layer, I'll call that, or a new scene, I'll call that HUD, and add a camera into that scene. Clear the location and the rotation, Alt-R and Alt-G, set it to game, and move it up a bit, so just we have a better overview and change it to autographic mode, as we won't need perspective in an HUD. Now what is our goal state? We want that if we move the mouse to this upper part of the camera, it actually moves into this direction in the real game world. For that purpose, we just need to define an area, which we will do by adding a plane, scaling the plane to the size of the area we want the mouse to interact with, and now setting up the logic that if the mouse comes on top of this plane, the camera will actually move into that direction. Now we also want to set up a little, um, what I call like testing material, so that we know if this uh, object exists and not just keep it invisible. So we'll make it green, set it to wire and shadeless. So in the game actually we'll just see this uh, border then. And we also want to go to the physics and make it a ghost so that when we click onto something under this plane, it will still be yeah, triggered. Now, if the mouse is over this plane and activates true level triggering so that this will get done every time the mouse also keeps on top of the plane and not just hits it once, we will send a message to our camera that we're going or want to go top. Now we'll go back to our camera and first of all add this HUD scene, so always scene, add overlay scene, HUD, and if this camera receives the message top, it's going to move into that direction, so motion. And now we need to specify which direction that is, in this case it's the negative x direction, so the positive x direction would be kind of the back and the negative would be kind of this. It always depends on how you rotate your camera, so if I for example rotate it like this, then forward would be positive y. So always just check how your camera is rotated and try to rotate it according to one axis, so this is easier for you. In this case, it's the negative x axis, so we'll move it on the negative x-axis by 0.1. Now let's go into the camera view and check whether it works. Alright, so this doesn't work because I've uh, selected local coordinates. We wanted to use the global coordinates. So uncheck this button and try again. And you can see it works. So if we use the local coordinates, it will use the current orientation of the camera and that would be wrong for uh, the rotation. We can apply the rotation and then don't need to do that step, but it's pretty um, simple and safe to just use the global coordinates, so you always use the same parameters. Now we just need to set the same thing up for all four sides. So just copy this down and change the logic of this lower one to send bot for bottom. Copy another one for the left side and leave a bit of space in the corners as we will also set up corner parts that will yeah, kind of move uh, into two directions so the corner is covered. Whoops, want to be a little bit more detailed here so that we don't have any free space where there is an empty space and the camera won't move. So this one will send left. And this one will send right. Now let's set up the logic on the camera for that. If it receives the message bot, it will move to the opposite direction, so the positive x. Now 
The value you define here is the speed at which it will move, so 0.1 is basically enough for now. Whoops, again local coordinates. So it moves back, it moves forth. Now for the left, if the message is left and the motion is going to be on the y-axis. Now let's check which is it, which it is. It's the negative y, so minus 0.1. And uncheck local coordinates. And if the message is right, it's going to move on the right coordinates. So the opposite of this, which is the positive y axis. And check whether all four work now. Oops, again, local coordinates. So keep that in mind bottom right top so we can move around already with the camera like in an rts or in a mobile or whatever you can think of that uses this camera setup and now we'll set up the corner parts so for that go back to the hud just copy the logic here it's not really much more we just need to change two values so at one corner second third and fourth the top left will send TL for top left, top right will send TR, bottom right BR for bottom right, and bottom left BL for bottom left. Now for the logic on the camera, that means if it's receiving, for example, the message top left, let's start with top left, it has to move into two directions. So do that and do that at the same time, which was negative X and negative Y. So minus 0.1, minus 0.1. No local coordinates. And see whether that works. It moves diagonally. As you can see, they are overlapping here a bit. So you should try to keep the planes at a size where they won't overlap. So you got more accurate control. But for the purpose of this tutorial, this should be enough. So let's set up the same thing for uh, the other three. So if this receives top right message tr it's going to move to the positive y and the negative x axis minus 0 0.1 0 0.1 no local coordinates and motion is positive y, positive x. Whoops. And lastly, message motion bottom left. Message bottom left, sorry. Motion is going to be negative y, positive x. So this is the basic setup for this panning camera that you can see in sort of RDS games or mobile games. I don't know, a lot of games use that. All right, so you can see that working in my uh, current demo of the game I've announced in the update video. So this was just quickly using this on this game to see how this could be used in a real environment. So. It's still the same mechanics, I have to kind of kill these orcs and I have to move the camera to the lines to actually see them. Um, I will probably shrink the camera uh, a bit so that you can't see so far and actually have to use make use of this motion. So that's it for this tutorial. Remember to make the planes invisible in the physics properties before you actually use them in a game. So only keep this shader up for a testing purpose. And if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, just comment. Thanks for watching.